Hi. So today I'm going to talk about a question somebody asked me a couple of days back. So this person is working in Bangalore in India and he is making 40 lakhs rupees in a year and he has got a, an offer from a UK based company which is willing to pay him 80,000 pound okay 80,000 pound uh, base salary and on top of that he could also make 20% 15 to 20% bonus on that so he asked me this question is it worth moving to London with this kind of salary will I be saving more in London compared to that in India will I be able to have the similar kind of a lifestyle in London that I'm having in Bangalore India with 40 lakh salary 40 lakhs is 4 million right which is equivalent to 40,000 uh, pound uh, if uh, yeah if you use the conversion rate because pound is about 100 rupees now I have lived in London I have also lived in Chennai and Bangalore and, and Pune and Hyderabad in India so I can do a comparison well the short answer is depends on your situation whether you are married whether you have kids or whether you are single uh, it depends on a lot of things but I will break down the expenses that one will incur in London compared to expenses that you will incur in Bangalore and there is no one size fit all rule I mean it depends on your situation um, but uh, there are some of the things that will apply to all of us actually for example you need a place to stay right so and house rent is very very expensive in in the UK actually in London in particular elsewhere in the UK rents are much cheaper but it's more expensive in London so I'm going to do a comparison whether it is worth moving to Europe not just in London but Paris or Amsterdam anywhere else in Europe with a salary of 80,000 to 100,000 which is roughly 80 lakhs to 1 crore salary if you are making 30 to 40 lakh salary or more salary more money in India well the thing is that <coughs> house rents are very very high in Europe compared to the salary offered here in India, in Bangalore, if you are making 40 lakhs a year and you are living in a two bedroom apartment, I think I'm assuming you are paying like 20,000 to 25,000 rupees a month as rent. In uh, London or in Paris or in Amsterdam, you will be paying anywhere between 2,000 to 3,000 or even more. In London, even more. Right. So, house rent. Uh, is a big part will be a big part of your expenses right so bear that in mind and uh, if you want to compromise on your living standard you want to leave you can live uh, in a one bedroom apartment then you will save more money but if you have kids i don't think you can live in a one bedroom apartment so you need a two bed bedroom apartment and uh, yeah, you will have to then spend a lot of money on that. There are other things also. For example, uh, the tax rates in Europe, not in UK, but in Amsterdam, in Netherlands, in, in, in Paris, uh, France or in, in Germany, the tax rates are very, very high actually. You know, the highest tax rates are like 52%. In India, the highest tax rate is... 31% right 30% or 31% so the take home salary in Europe will not be that great even even though you will be making like 100k the take home salary for you will be uh, about yeah 5000 roughly 5000 right. in, in UK that will be more you will be making something like 5600 but in Amsterdam or in Paris you will be making like less than 5000 in fact 4800 4700 euro and of that you will be spending 2500 on uh, an apartment right so that's like 50 percent of your salary and then yeah with the inflation yeah groceries and everything yeah it's super expensive actually nowadays 
it used to be a bit better um but now it's very expensive uh, more than that actually you will have also a traveling cost right traveling cost will be like a couple of hundreds in in london yeah you will not be leaving uh, close to the office for sure because that's going to be extremely expensive so your traveling cost will be at least 300 in london and then in many countries in europe you will not get health insurance by the company you will be working for so that luxury is not available in many european companies so you will have to have then uh, private uh, insurance for yourself and for your family members and that will cost you about 300 to 400 so after uh, you know rent paying rent and paying for groceries uh, for insurance, for travel cost, you will end up saving like 1500 or 1500 maximum uh, with a salary of 80,000 to 100,000. But if you are a, a bachelor person, you are not married, don't have kids, then you can live in a, a shared accommodation and you can get a shared accommodation in Europe in uh, a price range between 600 to 1000 and in that case you can save a lot of money but bear in mind that in some european countries for the first few years about three to five years you will get tax rebate in netherlands you get tax rebate for something called 30 percent ruling so you will enjoy that for, for first five years and uh, in that case uh, your take home salary for a 100k uh, annual package will be something like 6 and 6000 okay so you will get 1000 extra because of the tax rebate and that luxury will have for 5 years so that's good thing actually right? um, but also note that uh, the work life balance is better here in europe so if you have kids uh your spouse can also work and still be able to you know give time to your kids unlike in india where it's very difficult but in india you can get nannies and you can get maids right to help you with household chores but that's practically impossible in uh, europe in london actually you can get help because there are many Indians, many Pakistani and Desi people, Pakistani, Bangladeshi people, but not in uh, elsewhere in, in Europe. Right. Um, but I still believe that, you know, you will still be uh, having more time for your kids in if you're in Europe compared to, say, in India. Maybe things have changed uh, after Corona, because in India, I think now we have the work from home policies. In many companies so women can give time to their kids uh, men can also give time to their kids and family members right so if you have you know you and your spouse both are working uh, I think it is uh, better to come to Europe because then you will have dual income and uh, you can take care of your kids as, as well why I'm saying is because in India many women uh, leave their jobs to take care of uh, the kids right um, it's also very sorry to even think about it right that men do not do that but women have to do that it, it's so unfortunate actually that women have to sacrifice their career for the family uh, sometime sometime that's very thankless actually but in europe actually you will get uh, plenty of uh, opportunities for working women uh, plenty of opportunity for women having kids to work in uh, you know uh, organizations where they will get enough time for their kids and uh, you also have this option of choosing a 40 hour sorry 35 hours work schedule 30 hour work schedule you can work three days a week four days a week many companies allow that so that flexibility is there so in a way that is better uh, but I would still say if you are coming for money, I don't think it's worth coming to Europe. You can go to Dubai or other Arab uh, countries, uh, Arab cities or US is also very good. Other English speaking countries, UK, Canada, Australia, 
these countries are also good but if you're coming to non-english speaking countries like netherlands and uh, germany and uh, france um, you'll be paying a lot more in taxes and the cost of living is also very high so you'll not save a lot of money so from a money point of view you should not come to europe uh, us and singapore and arabic countries are better in that way but if you're looking for work life balance you're looking for a good lifestyle i think europe is very good a lot of things out there to explore uh, jobs are also safe safer compared to that in the us getting citizenship is also not that difficult although it might be difficult in the future uh, but for now at least it's not very difficult in 5 years time you can have a permanent residency uh, almost all my colleagues have got indian colleagues have got permanent residency in in europe <clears throat> so these are some of the good things right if you have more questions please let me know so to answer your question if you have 40 lakh salary in india if i had a 40 lakh salary in india what would i do i would still move to europe actually because i like europe um, money is not my biggest motivation to come here but uh, if a uh, someone uh, who is married and your spouse is not working and uh, you are the loan um, yeah loan working person in your family i would advise not to come to europe uh, you will be in trouble financially it doesn't make sense uh, but uh, if your spouse is working i think you should come to europe you will make more money here you live a better life actually there are other aspects also it's not just money but these are some of the things i wanted to share with you so 1 crore salary is in my view is equivalent to 30 lakhs in india 